What's up y'all, this is Jordan with Be Ready Self Defense and today we're going to talk about knife fighting. Or if you talk to Ryan Hoover, it's really just fighting with a knife. Controversial. But more specifically, I want to talk about the aspect of deploying the knife and a few things that I've been messing around with there and just a quick drill you can do with it. So let's get into it. Now, in our last video, uh, we reviewed the Hard Ready HR1 knife. Uh, this is the uh, training version of that. Feel free to go ahead and watch that video somewhere up here, and I'll put the link to this uh, knife in the description as well. But we talked about how, at least in my opinion, the knife isn't just something where every time I draw it, I'm meaning to end someone's life with it. Sometimes we get a little hardcore in our self-defense classes when we're training with knives and as soon as we take it away, we're like Rah! But really to me, the knife is a tool to get me out of a bad situation. It is a force multiplier and allow me to get better positioning or deter the person that's trying to do me harm and get me in a better position to defend myself, get away, draw, uh, maybe draw my, my gun, whatever it might be. Just wanted to go over that uh, before we move on and anyone comments on it. So hopefully we're clear. Capiche? Good. Now there's kind of two methods that I've been messing around with in terms of deploying and then fighting with the knife. And that's not to say there's, there's only two, but these are just kind of the main ones that I've messed around with. There's no wrong or right here, this is just what I've played around with. So those two methods, and there's pros and cons to each of them, which we'll talk about in a second. But the first method would be using the same hand that I'm drawing with to remove the obstacle of my clothing because this is, you know, it's an EDC knife or, you know, concealed for, for self-defense. I, I guess you could walk around with it like this. I don't know, that seems kind of nerdy to me, like, yeah, check out my knife. So assuming you are concealing this knife. Uh, so using the same hand that I'm drawing, drawing with to remove the obstacle of my clothing and then draw and deploy the knife. We'll talk about this other hand in a second. Uh, but then option number two would be using that free hand that I'm not drawing, it, drawing with to remove the obstacle of my clothing and then draw with my knife hand, deploy all that good stuff. Now, pro of using just one hand is I can use the other hand as a defense, right? As a shield. Uh, you see this kind of draw method where I maybe elbow here or I'm just creating a barrier, causing traffic here, whatever it might be, uh, so that I can then protect myself as I'm drawing the knife. So that's a pro, right? I'm, I'm a little bit more behind a shield if I'm doing that first method. Now, the con to me, and again, this is just what I've experienced, but it's been my experience that this method is just, it's kind of slower, and sometimes it messes up. Sometimes I don't get it. Like, even as I've been filming this, I've had to film some of these scenes over and over again, because I keep, like, missing this part, and sometimes I mess up and I don't pull the knife, and in a self-defense scenario, that could be a life or death, potentially. Now, one thing I found that helps with that a little bit is using my thumb as a hook. So and before, I was kind of just dragging my hand up and hoping that friction would bring my shirt up, and, and that didn't work super well. So after messing around with it, as I, I try to be fair as I do this, I found that as I would kind of use my thumb, I could use my thumb to hook, kind of hook my shirt up as I go to draw, and then that allowed me to clear my shirt better, and then give me a cleaner draw on the knife. Now, it's a little bit of a fine motor skill, but again, it does allow me to defend myself. So you can make the argument, because I have that shield up, it might give me another half a second to be able to deploy this okay. Method number two, it's undeniably, undeniably faster. It's way easier and faster for me to just go boom, boom, deploy. It's way more foolproof. foolproof. It's super easy for me to just grab a hunk of clothing, rip my shirt up, 
and then I had to clean handle and draw every single time. I've had very little issue with this one. Whereas that first method can tend to be a little bit slower. I'm not saying you can't get fast with it. As I've kind of practiced, I've gotten a little bit faster, but nowhere near as fast and nowhere near as you know successful every single time as just lifting the shirt with my free hand. Now the con to this is I don't have that shield anymore, right? Because I'm using this other hand to lift my shirt. I don't have any of that elbow shield or that frame, whatever, whatever it might be. So if that's the case, you might need to use your striking to set up that deploy um, or, or that draw on the knife. I've also messed around a little bit with kind of that shoulder roll, okay? If you're familiar with with boxing that Philly shell and shoulder roll. Shout out to all my people in Pennsylvania. Philly! But using that shoulder roll, maybe as I strike, or maybe we're close, I do a close range strike, and using that kind of shoulder roll as a defense, or if, if they do throw a wild haymaker or a straight punch, using that shoulder roll to then deploy. Now obviously I don't want to turn my back to them completely, uh, it'll just depend on the situation, but, but using that shoulder roll um, and then deploying. Okay, so easy way to drill this is just on a heavy bag or, or bob or whatever it might be or with another partner. So you would just throw your normal combos, like one through four combos, if, if you want to keep it simple or work some elbows in there, whatever it might be. Uh, and then work drawing at random intervals. So maybe you throw a three combo, jack cross hook, and then draw, and then maybe throw whatever combo you want afterwards. You could try a one, two frame, and try that same hand, same drawing hand, same clearing hand, and then draw, and then throw a combo after that. You could even start from uh, positions you might find yourself uh, in, in, a knife attack, in a knife scenario, so we're talking close range, right? So it could be turn, elbow, frame, draw. Really guys, there's, there's no wrong or right way to do this. I think sometimes we get just caught up so much in martial arts with what's wrong and what's, what's right. And, Really the answer a lot of the times is play around with it. Mess around, train, drill. Drillers make killers. That's one of my favorite sayings. But mess around with it and you'll find what works for you because what works for some one person is not always gonna be what works for you. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Try out these drills. Drillers make killers. Train, mess around with it. Let me know what you find. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Please go ahead and smash that like button. And gosh, I hate, I hate saying that. Subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any future videos of me cutting up Bob and messing around with this thing. This is Jordan with Be Ready Self-Defense. Train perfectly fight ferociously, and be ready.